Rub up your engines. Cast Curve Videos. Hey, Scotty. Everything is a ripoff in today's world. <laughs> Okay, well, to some extent, you're probably true. Our whole thing here is try to get ripped off the least possible. You don't want to go out, say, if you're buying a car battery. You don't want to go buy a $600 fancy one and find out that after five years, it breaks down too. But you don't want to go buy the $50 one that today breaks down in a year or less because it's the cheapest one they absolutely make. Nobody wants to be ripped off and to some extent everything is sort of a rip off. I mean I'm sure they could make tires so they lasted a lot longer but then they'd be cut in their own throats. If they made better rubber that a tire could last 200,000 miles they'd be out all those tires they're selling. I remember years ago I was reading an article about people making silicone tires they could last a couple hundred thousand miles. Well whatever became of that you know they're not making them. They probably thought why should we do that? Then we would lose out on three extra sets of tire sales during that period you know <laughs> and if we charge four times what we charge now you know people don't want to buy the tires they buy them from somebody else who are making tires cheaper so there's always that horrid combination of a capitalist society where there is competition but the slant is towards the lowest price which isn't always the good thing like Benjamin Franklin said you know you want a happy medium so you don't want to get ripped off paying way too much for something but you don't want to get ripped off buying a piece of junk so I'm always looking for the happy medium for everyone Victor Valdez says hey Scotty what are your thoughts about infinity cars infinities are just fancy Nissans it's the luxury end of the car they're fun to drive they're nice looking cars they handle really well but as they age they get real expensive expensive to fix. Now I've had customers with them they got a hundred thousand pretty much trouble free mileage and they were happy but I got a lot of customers that bought them with a hundred thousand or more used and they ended up hating the cars because they bankrupted them with all the problems they had catalytic converters, automatic transmission, air conditioner problems, keyless remote system problems. So if you're the type of person that buys a car new and keeps it for you know less than a hundred thousand miles you might be real happy with them but if you're like me and you want to keep them forever stay away from infinities especially stay away from used ones with high mileage. Tammy Lynn says Scotty what do you think of a rebuilt car? Okay that's a big question here it depends on what you mean by rebuilt. If you're talking about you're buying a car and on the title it has a rebuilt title or recondition my advice is stay away from them because that means the car was wrecked flooded or stolen or it was totaled by an insurance company then by law it has to say that it's got a rebuilt title on it now if you're talking about just a regular vehicle that has a clean title the transmission rebuilt or the engine demand to see the receipts but if it's just on the title stay away that's a big mistake I've had people buy them they didn't know what it meant then they bring it to me and I hook up my computer and it turns out that it's got like 36 trouble codes because it was flooded and all the electronics are going out you don't want to end up with a vehicle like that Colby Hankton says I got a 99 Acura CL when I drive it feels like I have a flat tire on the passenger front tire but it's not a flat tire what else could it be now it depends on your tires if you have those low profile tires they often do strange things. If you have real high end tires, first thing I do is say put the front tires in the back and the back tires in the front. And if it goes away, just drive it that way. Now, if it stays exactly the same when you swap the tires, then you've got a suspension problem in the front. Jack it up. See if it's got play, if ball joints are worn or tie rods are worn. See if the strut's worn. I know a lot of times strut mounts break, and when you bounce it, you'll see the top of the strut mounts. When you open the hood, it'll be cracked, and the rubber moves up and down. You need those. You need to check that too. But first, put the front tires in the back and the back tires in the front. See how it goes. Richard Stewart says, Scotty, I know you're not a fan of Chrysler products. What's your opinion of Dodge Ram 2016 and newer? Okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of Chrysler products, and Dodge trucks have had problems through the ages. But there is one thing that from what I've seen a lot of the trucks now the Dodge trucks they're starting to put ASIN transmissions in them at least the diesel ones those are made by Toyota that's a Toyota company ASIN and those are very good transmissions like Dodge throughout history with especially their diesel trucks they're decent engines they're gas hogs but they're decent engines but the problem is the rest of the truck the electronics the ball joints break on them you know there's so many better trucks out there that I just wouldn't advise buying one but if say you're going to buy a used one and it seems to be in really good shape you could save some money if you want to gamble with that I personally wouldn't but some guys do so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell